Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Also, if you want to become a member of my channel, go ahead and click the join button. We do want to let you guys know that we have some new members. Yay! <clears throat> Sandra J. Martinez, or Martinez, KMT, Carrie Conkle, Charity's Low Carb Life. Um, some of you, welcome <clears throat> uh, back, because I know some of you are former members. So welcome back, and others who are new, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, let's get into your reading and see what messages are coming up for you. Uh, wow, we're going into February already. Okay, you're starting with sunglasses. I feel like all week somebody's looking at you, somebody's watching you. Um, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Okay, Ooh, what is going on? Oh, sweet, you have kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love wow virgo and you have oh my god photograph <laughs> looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories virgo this is hot to trot this should be a wednesday reading i mean this is really this is something okay so starting with sunglasses like the overall uh, theme here is somebody is looking at your pictures this week, this month, going forward, misses you, or is just nostalgic about you, or is just someone super duper interested in you. They're looking at you, they're watching. Um, so I don't know, where's your pictures? I have no idea. Somebody, if you have pictures out, fine you have pictures out and you've got somebody here who just wants to kiss you <laughs> they want to, maybe they're kissing your pictures oh my god that's creepy um um someone's falling in love you, there's somebody falling in love with you okay um yeah so if you don't have any pictures anywhere and there's no way anyone could have a photo of you then this obviously is not going to resonate for you this is for those of you who have a picture out there somewhere uh, maybe it's a picture at a beach where there's sunshine in the background for some <clears throat> and you have like sunglasses on either way um yeah uh, somebody's got their eye on you going forward okay let's take a look and see if we can figure out who this is for virgo oh what four of pentacles in the reverse you know what i just want to see something because i I feel like someone is not hiding the fact that they're that they're looking at you. Um, yeah, and I, I like they're being pretty open about it. Okay, so they might even be open about to tell you that they're falling in love with you. You might hear that from someone. Like this person is, they're watching, but they're not like. I know it says stalking, but. This person is not stalking you in secret. They're making it known. Maybe they're liking, putting likes on a photo or they're telling you um, how nice you look or how good you look and that they're just, they want to kiss you. They may not tell you though. They might just, uh, all right, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. But yeah, it's pretty much out in the open. This person is not hiding this. Um, and then they just told me if you're on social media and you had somebody blocked or they had you blocked they've unblocked you i'm hearing um or you unblocked them either way there's an unblocking going on and now there's access to see something and so this kind of does feel like a social media thing but it doesn't have to be it's just someone who has the ability to see a photograph of you maybe it's someone that you know if they're missing you or nostalgic um someone that you like you're both in the photograph and they're thinking about the old times they want to make new memories with you and for others um it could be someone from before whom um it's just a photo of you okay or someone currently if you if you have if you got a photo out somewhere 
Um, I feel like this person keeps looking at it. They keep watching. Um, keep watching. Keep looking. Okay. And I just get this energy. I don't know where it comes from that they're not hiding this. It, like it can be seen that they keep looking. Okay. Let me see what else is going on. Okay. All right. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Like a decision. Weighing some kind of option. Ooh. Five of Cups. Wow. Okay. So this person, Virgo, is kind of on this like roller coaster of emotions and feelings you know one minute they're sad the next minute you're like everything they could ever wish for or hope for um yeah because these are very oh i just heard um they they gave me the word vixen <laughs> i don't know where that came from vixen um but this person when they look at your photo they're kind of like regretful remorseful sad feeling disappointed or like just kind of have this energy of like maybe there's like an abandonment thing going on but then at the same time with the nine of cups it's like you're their everything you are their abundance so they're sad but why are they sad like what is this sadness you see this grief this loss oh that you can't connect or that there's no coming together hmm so you basically have someone here who's in love with you that can't be with you that's what i feel like this message is here right now they might be involved with somebody else you might just be friends and they don't want to lose the friendship or yeah you guys can't come together right now they want to come together with you they do they want to connect with you they want to meet you they want to be with you um and have like that oh yeah i was just gonna say have that two of cups and now the ace of cups like they see so much potential they want something beautiful and like a, a beautiful um emotional start with you get things off the ground but they just can't right now okay or they don't know if it will happen they don't know if it will happen like it's like the the blessing came in i feel like this person um like the feelings have already been registered in their mind and in their heart that you know you're you're like everything to them you're the you're like the total package the abundance that kind of thing with the nine of cups um hmm. that's kind of something huh so they might also not be able to be with you because you're with someone else you could be with someone else. And that's for those of you who have another relationship or you're involved already. If you're not and you're completely single, let's see what's keeping this person. So if you're completely single, it could be that they're with someone else. Um, or what would keep them from... Hmm, King of Wands. Or they're with someone else. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Is it possible? So, is this what... Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. I feel like this is going really slow. <laughs> three, three. Two threes. Aries, Leo, Sag. This person... You know, if it's a fire sign, which it could be, um, this person really thinks about um, expanding and, and moving things forward with you. You might be at a distance. So that could have something to do with why you guys aren't able to connect. Okay. And there might also be something here to do with um, 
they're in a position where I'm hearing they can't rem they can't remove themselves from where they are right now because I don't know if they've started a new job or they're just in this like training thing that they can't if they leave or if they that like this is their pr that it's a priority for them they have to make sure that they do something here and also for some of you I've just heard that. Well, they may be abandoning another relationship that they're in and in the process are trying to learn more about you. They see like beautiful potential. I feel like this person's like head over heels for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, like they're, 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 I just kind of feel like they possibly have somebody else and yet they got their eye on you, you know? Show me what this, okay, Four of Swords. So, yeah, they're not really doing anything right now. They're not, they're not going to make any kind of moves. They're actually, I feel like, going through this kind of like this healing period. You know, that in-between period when you end something with someone and you start something new. I feel like this person is um, trying to get like in this, they're focusing on their healing. They're focusing on recovery. Okay, so, you know, I feel like they're doing something that they're really trying to learn about and be better, make themselves better. They could have had like a drinking problem and now they're getting, I feel like this person is getting themselves ready. They are, they're getting themselves ready. They're preparing, they're, they're, they're learning some, something. They have these grand ideas, these plans, they're trying to expand their world and you know they have like these hopes you know what else is out there um and then they kind of catch sight of you or you come to mind or something to do with watching you they want to kiss you they want, they're falling in love um but this feels like molasses man it feels like slow as molasses yeah i feel like this person is pretty much trapped in their situation right now and all they can do is just either pray or um, just rest they can't get out of this right now but part of it like get out of it to come to you but part of it has something to do with I want to say like self-imposed restrictions you know what I mean um, like a negative way of thinking maybe they feel for some of you this could be this person doesn't believe that um, you two could be together because it's just a potential you know what I mean but it's like at the same time they have these overwhelming feelings and what are they gonna do about them so the first court card to show up here is fire sign I feel like fire sign keeps showing up so masculine or feminine fire energy for sure now let me see if this person's going to make any moves towards virgo from now the time you're listening to this reading which it is like january 30 31st through the month of february is anything going to come oh i feel like this person is just gonna they're not going to think about it anymore and they're just going to escape they're just going to escape from their situation. They're escaping from a queen of swords. <laughs> They're like, I kind of feel like this person, whatever's holding them back, you know, what I described, or if they've got other things holding them back, they've been kind of like, feels like plotting, scheming, planning, trying to figure out how to do something here. As far as getting out of another situation and they're taking a long time and it feels like this person is just gonna like just do it they're just gonna just run away from whatever they're in they're just gonna escape they're getting a lot of um, somebody asking them a lot of questions that Queen of Swords can be very candid and harsh energy and accusatory um, like territorial a little bit 
little bit territorial. Um, at times, perhaps, kind of cold or unkind, you know? And I feel like that's going to be the thing that gets this person to walk away and come towards you. Where the kindness is, right? Go after the ninth cup. This is the eight of cups on the left. Somebody might have been born in 86. They already have that ninth cup. This person knows that you are their you know the one I mean they feel it you know I feel like this person is like if they're not already falling in love with you they've already they've already fallen for you okay um, so when I'm calling out the court card signs just remember that it doesn't have to be their Sun sign it could be their Venus their rising their moon all right let's take a look so when asking what this person's going to do, it looks like, yeah, they're just going to finally just, I feel like they're trying to do the right thing as far as getting out of some kind of commitment that they have. And the commitment doesn't have to be another person. It could be anything else. And I feel like it's because of their strong desire and their feelings and what they see that it's enough to drive them to be reactive I feel like they're trying to do more like all right let me just figure this out let me kind of plan it out let me just you know do it the right way but something happens with another person where another person is just maybe accusing them of cheating or whatever something something horrible goes on and then they're like that's my cue I'm not even gonna do the right thing screw it because I'm not trusted anyway or what have you and and then here they are hiking their way back to you or towards you for some of you it's a reconciliation and for others it's it's not it's like connecting with this person coming um in february 6th possibly okay virgo you you have the high priestess wow you have the star wow you have strength so i feel like you have had this secret intuition that you've known all along that there would be some kind of renewal or that there was hope for this connection if this is someone you were connected with before you've known all along okay this might have already occurred for you some of you this might have already started, okay? But um, you've known all along. I feel like you've you've had this inner clarity. You're just waiting for the miracle to, to occur. You've had the faith that you and this person were meant to be. Leo energy, Aquarius, Pisces. Um... So it's really not about what you will do. It's more about you being still and receiving this person. I don't feel like you, you really need to do anything because I feel like this person needed to be the one to do or say something here or, or just take some kind of action, you know. Um, and even at times the Eight of Cups can be a temporary card where somebody comes back you know i feel like there might have been someone if you're involved with them before they kind of they took a detour because they thought maybe somebody else they may maybe i don't know if it's a mistake or they had a lesson that they needed to learn but um yeah i i feel like you might have been kind of like waiting for this person to get the courage to come towards you i mean this person has kept their eye on you for however long they've been watching you somehow some way they're just they're just head over heels for you they are so going through the month and like i was saying february 6th was feeling like something was going to occur let me take a look and see what more can you tell Virgo about February 6th? Because that's the beginning of the month. Okay, the King of Cups. 
You have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. So somewhere between February 6th and the 8th, I'm also hearing 1983, <clears throat> somewhere between February 6th and the 8th, um, there's a, oh, okay. So there's, oh, okay. So there's someone, it could be the King of Cups or the or a King of Wands, either way, it's, there's a person here who is going to, when is February 6th through the 8th? Um, that's the, that's a Tuesday through a Friday. So this person, um, it looks like there's, there's work that they have to do, but it looks like they're not going to do it or they're not going to go to work and instead come to you. They're going to break off work. I'm hearing for some of you, it's breaking off someone, breaking up with someone they work with. Um, if they were dating someone that they work with. So yeah, that, so that the sixth through the eighth is pretty much like, you know, the, the second week of February. <clears throat> so next week, next Tuesday through Thursday, they have some kind of work thing. Uh, I don't know when it is. It might be on the weekend or it might be that, that week they're, with the three of swords this makes me feel like they're gonna like divorce from that commitment okay and push back on that they're not gonna do something so that they're gonna make t they're gonna make themselves available to you that's what what i was asking and i was feeling that energy they're gonna make themselves available to you during that that week okay and then what what what's gonna occur Well, holy shit. <laughs> wow. This might be a two, two party story happening here for some of you. Let me just say, um, okay. So they're telling me to go that way. So obviously you're going to have a choice Virgo between a water and a fire sign. You're going to have to make a decision. All right. Or you have these two people. Maybe you don't have to make a decision, but you have two other people surrounding you. It could also be another earth sign. But it looks to me like if we break it down into the court cards, it looks to me like there's a fire sign that really wants to be with you. And um, it's just kind of making their way towards you, but it's a slow process. And then there's a king of cups who um, is, is that week, February 6th through the 8th, is going to decline some kind of other commitment to come towards you. You know, both of them are coming towards you, at least that week. And I look at you looking down at your pinnacle, like, what the heck? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, wow. Virgo's not even stressing. It's just like, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I see. Why do I feel like this story keeps playing out? I feel like this is like epi the next episode. Let me see. Show Virgo the Queen of Wands, masculine or feminine. What are the... Okay, they have the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. And the Queen of Cups has the Two of Swords, all the sword energy and judgment okay so the queen of wands masculine or feminine the story i'm sorry it, there was a fork in the road it broke off into two different directions so i got to go with the flow here this this fire sign um is very nervous very anxiety ridden <clears throat> but it's not going to let that stop them from overcoming any kind of fear and make this transition and move towards you okay yeah they have a lot of anxiety about it but it's not going to stop them and the queen of cups is making the decision to have some kind of reconciliation with you 
they 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 there's a communication that comes through they're ready to make a decision and they're ready to compromise on something here either way so if it's two different people i feel like for those of you that have two different suitors or two others um each one of these two is both watching you and they're both head over heels for you and they want to kiss you and or make new memories um or you know they're they're nostalgic or they just want to have some kind of new beginning with you okay so you know if you right now are listening to this and you're like there's no one in my life i don't know what's going on um if you have no pictures up anywhere at all <laughs> except for maybe your dog this probably isn't going to resonate for you unless you have a past person that has a picture of you somewhere okay it's the only way it's going to resonate for you if you have absolutely no one in your life these are new energies coming through especially in february okay um and if you do have someone in your life someone else shows up and some of you might have two people in your life at this time remember it's a general reading so i can't cover every single base but i'm trying to give you as much information as i can regarding this um uh, all i can say whether it's one or two people all eyes are on you especially in february all eyes are on you it, these four eyes or two eyes completely in love with you want to kiss you just watching every move you, you make looking at your photos uh or whatever you have out there um or yeah whatever you have out there and just and amazed by you enamored with you virgo <laughs> i mean that's sweet virgo i hope that makes you feel good let me see what the messages of love are here <coughs> excuse me what messages of love here for virgo oh my god second chance so for some of you, there's a relationship here. It deserves a second chance if you want to give it. Or someone feels that way. Or two people. Maybe you dated them both. And they're both coming back around. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I can't even believe I'm coughing like this. <coughs> okay. This relationship or one of these. I mean, you can only choose one, right? Not, unless you're... All right. Hey, do you, Virgo. Oh, you're kidding. There is also a friendship. So if you have two different people, there's one relationship that this person wants another chance with you. And if the other one is a friendship, they want more. Okay, so what are you doing, Virgo? What are you doing differently? Because you, your aura, I guess your aura, I don't know what's going on. You are attracting big time in this, in this time period. Yes, you are. You have a couple different people. It looks like what else do, does Virgo need to uh, know here what else does Virgo need to know all right for some of you your true love is already a part of your life some of you already know who this is everything happens for a reason trust it's safe to trust in this situation Wow Virgo I mean hey I guess the new the new thing now is you know to date them both i guess that's the new thing i don't know or be in a relationship with two i guess people do it right what do i know um all right let me see if we can figure out we're gonna look at your chinese sign virgo i just feel like if i call your chinese sign this is probably going to be more for you specifically i don't want to look at these people's chinese signs well, you know what? First I'll do you, and then I'll do... No, there's too many. Yeah, I'll be sitting here doing Chinese signs for an hour. Let's just look at you. Okay, you could be a year of the snake. You could be born year of the dragon. Year of the rat. Year of the horse. Year of the rooster. Year of the dog. Year of the tiger. Year of the goat and or year of the rabbit okay it doesn't mean it's not your reading if that doesn't resonate for you it could still be your reading okay is there anything else that virgo needs to know either about this situation or in regards to other matters 
What else? Is there any other messages for Virgo? Okay. Oh, okay. So some of you, there's a loan being offered to you. So, <coughs> sorry. If you have applied for a loan, uh, looks like you're going to get it <coughs> or applied for something. Um, it looks like you're going to get it. It's going to get offered to you in February. Okay. I'm going to just take, okay. You have endure and be patient Virgo. Okay. Patience key. I think Virgos are pretty good with patience. All right. Ghosted and blocked is in the reversed. So remember I said to you guys, if there was someone ghosted or blocked, um, now they're not going to be ghosted anymore and they're not going to be blocked. Someone's being unblocked. Okay. Or someone has been, or the blockages have been removed. Wow. Virgo. I'll tell you when the cards talk, the cards talk, don't they? Oh, wow. So you have an emotional wish is also being granted, which looks like it's either for you or another person. Yeah, um, you did have someone here that had the nine of cups, which was that emotional wish being granted. Whew. I feel like you're a wish for, if not one, two, two other, uh, one other person as well. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, somebody's got regret. For sure, someone's regretting something. Um, regretting a loss, letting someone go, wanting someone back. Yep. Sorry, I'm getting rid of these gigantic long cards because they're just don't, they're too long. Cupid's arrows, love messages, and travel, Virgo. So you can expect that. Cupid's February 14th. Some of you, you know, you're going to get that little Valentine's Day smooch of some sort or, or something related to the, all the cute things that lovers do on Valentine's Day. Expect that to come forward. From who? Either, well, let's see. I mean, it's, it's either going to come from, I feel like both of them, to be honest with you, I feel like you're going to get like some <clears throat> Valentine's something from two people. Okay, from some of you, it's a Scorpio, all right? So that could be the King of Cups. All right, from others, possibly a Capricorn. Hmm, okay. And you also have new plans evolving and someone spying online, Virgo. So yeah, if you got your stuff out there online, you can be sure you are being watched you can be sure someone is looking at you someone is watching every move you make all right let's get some let's get some initials and stuff and see all right someone is 55 someone is 40 someone has the initial a their name starts with a like andrew amanda okay someone's born in January so this could be a Capricorn or a Aquarius so they could be on the cusp um, someone either okay so we have the number 63 so either 1963 or they are 63 and we have 75 so either 1975 or they are 75 what else Okay, September 2nd, August 26th, and 1967, or the age, 67. Okay, we have a letter X. Somebody, if you're on X, aka Twitter, they're watching you on there. So I don't know if you have pictures on there, maybe you have a profile. Um, for some of you, this is an X. Okay, um, I'm also hearing Zhu, like X-U would be somebody's maybe last name, X-U, Zhu. I also have someone who's 54 years of age. Let's see, let's get some more initials. <laughs> I have X and X. Okay, so someone's name starts with the letter L. 
and so Le Lenny or Leonard someone is at an airport LAX or <laughs> they just gave me X lax <laughs> someone um, has okay now they're just saying someone wears a lanyard someone's got a lanyard on um, so okay now I lost it they said something to me oh I just heard yeah Leonard or Eleanor I'm picking up um, someone is 33 someone's born September 16th someone's born in 1981 I was getting a lot of 80s babies here throughout this reading okay September 12th oh you've got G-O that means what go <laughs> Or someone's an OG, <laughs> old school OG. I just heard they said to say someone's an OG. They're a real OG. You're a real OG. Okay. Oh, someone's getting that K Jewelers. Yep, K K A Y. I just saw that. Someone, someone's going to K Jewelers. Kathy. I just heard the name Kathy or Catherine. September 21st, the letter K, uh, Kara, Karen, Carl. Someone is very lean, lean, like, you know, leaned out. I'm hearing leaned out or lean back, yo, lean back. And um, Ekaterina, Ekaterina, that might be somebody's name. Um, oh, and someone, okay, their last name is Longo, L-O-N-G-O, Longo. K, K-A-Y, K. Kentucky, someone's in Kentucky, I just heard, and Nebraska, Okay, Rhode Island. Oh, someone uses the phrase irk, like that irks me. They always say that irk, like it oh they always it could be you, it could be another person. Someone always says that irks me. I'm also picking up the name Richard or Ricky, and I'm picking up Alan. Alan. Uh and Lana L A N A Lana. Uh, someone's last name is Lang, L-A-N-G. And I just heard they said, say, I, they whispered, Craig, Craig. Or maybe meet somebody on Craigslist. Or there's a connection on Craigslist. Which, okay. Craig. Okay. Someone is born in 79. And I just have three left, you guys. So let's see. Also, don't forget, um, if you're a member here on my channel, one of the new emojis you can use here in the chat, it says charms, charms, charms. So go ahead and click that right before I do the charms. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that. Okay, so we also have the letter F. I just heard someone's in the Air Force. Yep, we have the month of July. Someone could be born in July. I'm also picking up someone is 46 years of age or born in 1946. And now, all right, they're really hitting me with names here. Now they're giving me Ron or Ronald, Frank. Um, someone is ex-NFL player. Ex-NFL player or former. NFL player. Yeah, X, same thing. Okay, someone, they have the nickname Gonzo. Gon, G-O-N-Z-O. Gonzo. Wasn't he from the Muppets? Gonzo. Someone gets called Gonzo. And is there any other thing? Okay, so they said to give you these digits for phone numbers. Seven nine four six five four five five six three four zero, 
and 2675. All right. Now I'm just going to roll one dice to see. They said roll one zodiac dice just to give if there's any other confirmation that Virgo needs. Who is Virgo's true love? All right, Cancer. For some of you, it's a Cancer. That's your true love. All right, let's get the charms. Okay, oh, wow. This looks like the little Tweety Bird from Twitter. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's there might be a connection to Twitter. I think it's, it's called X now. I don't think, I know. But here you go. But there's a canary. Someone putting out their feelers. This feels like a canary. Or it might be um, a finch. That could be somebody's name. But someone's putting out their feelers as far as like if it's safe to come in. <laughs> Somebody definitely wants to come into your life. All right, now you have a rocking horse. This is very vintage, old school, old time rocking horse toy. Okay, so there's a connection to a rocking horse. I don't know symbolically what it means, but there is a connection. Some of you might have a ghost in your house and you have a rocking horse that just keeps rocking on its own. Holy paranormal. Okay, child's rocking horse, how cute. You know, I should just make a video, like a meditation video for you guys, where just the horse rocks. Oh, this horse is drunk. What the hell? <laughs> Rock and roll. Okay. Oh, this too. They're just showing me a playground where they have those little back and forth little bouncy things. Oh, I hope your kid doesn't spill over like that. <laughs> Injury. Okay. I just saw this and they said, grab it. So, Canada, they're giving me Canada. I know that's not a maple leaf. Maybe it is. Who the hell knows? But they're saying Canada or maple leaves. Isn't that a hockey team? There's a connection to Canada here as well. <coughs> and, oh, sh shit, you guys. Look at that. Okay, you are getting a gift possibly from a cancer but we do have a crab here you could have cancer somewhere in your chart like you know somewhere in your natal chart um but yeah i see a crab and that's connected to like a beach you know crustacean <clears throat> hard on the outside soft and gooey on the inside <clears throat> but you also have a gift here so there's a expect a gift to come for you in february it might even be around Valentine's Day, but yeah, and there's a little bow on it too. So, whew, very sweet, Virgo. Very, very sweet. You know, you guys, I feel like I'm forgetting something because this really went so quick. Yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I guess not. It's just me. But anyway, that's pretty much the reading. So don't forget... Like the start of this month looks like it's going to be pretty wild as far as love goes. It's a really good beginning I feel like you're going to come into. Um, so again, I just want to thank the new members. If you've been a member before, I refunded all of you your money. So all you have to do is just rejoin. This time it's only $2.99 a month. And then you'll like, for example, KMT, she rejoined for $2.99 a month yesterday she rejoined and she has the the two pretty much the two-year badge um her total time is 23 months you know what I mean so wherever you were you don't lose any of your time as far as your badge goes so you'll all see that you have different color badges once you get to the top tier you get like a really fancy badge with the stars and it just shows your loyalty to the channel and, you know, you guys, you'll get all those shout outs as well and the cool emojis. And as time goes by, even the moderators can join if they want. You know, you guys don't have to. But um, speaking of which, I do want to say thank you to the moderators. I know I haven't thanked you guys in quite some time, but I feel like I should. Jason and Melly and uh, Persephone. I know Charity is here once in a while. Um and uh, Steve-O and Steve B. I don't know if I've seen you, Steve B, in a while. I don't think I've seen you. I still have a couple other moderators like Queasy and them, but I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm not sure they're still 
here with us but um yeah i just want to say thank you to you guys for you know popping in here every single night and for all the readings i'm super grateful for um the way you guys manage the chat you guys are just amazing so i'm going to leave that there don't forget if you want to get a personal reading with me you can book a reading um, on my website and you can do a text reading with me so you can do that at any time like if you book it for a friday i'll probably get back to you like maybe that night or the next day you know what i mean all you have to do is just book it ask your five questions make sure you have your phone number or you let me know that you want to do it through skype or whatsapp whichever and i can text you back you know answers like pull some cards and give you a reading or you can do the um discounted personal phone readings i'm going on and on and on and on here so sorry about that <laughs> so um yeah february looks good for love so let's just keep your fingers crossed that somebody comes forward and tells you how they feel about you which i think they will um and again if it doesn't resonate that's fine don't worry about it i'm here every single night there's also videos during the day for the recap if you can't sit for the entire hour you can just click on the next day uh video which they i pop them up in the afternoon and they're just like 15 minutes of the previous reading all right, you guys, so hope you enjoy the shorts, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love ya. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.